Okay, welcome back. Let's just do a quick little unboxing and have a look at my new Magic Mouse. So, I'm an iMac user. I've been an iMac user for a very long time now. And usually with iMacs, you get the standard mouse, which is the white one with this lovely little gloss over it. And I've gone through a couple of these. So, initially, with my original iMac that I bought, I had the original mouse, and that came with the battery operator system so you just pull them back like this and you flip it out and you have two standard double A batteries inside them. This was an absolute nuisance because you had to always end up buying more and more batteries every time they would run out. So there was an expense associated with it and more of a physical expense if you like going to the shops and getting your batteries and making sure you've always got batteries. Then when this mouse pretty much had its days, I mean you can see over here you've got a lot of this kind of wear down and on, on both sides and this is just literally just wear down. I'll bring it closer to the camera, I'll just show you over here. That's just pure wear down and that's just like, you know, your fingers every day touching this edge of this metal, which is a bit weird because you wouldn't really expect metal to wear down by just touching it, but there you go, that's what happens with metal. It doesn't last forever. So you can see over here, there's a lot of wear down and this mouse actually became unusable. It's dis It started disconnecting via the Bluetooth. So then I decided to go ahead and replace it with what was available currently at that time and that was exactly the same but this time you had the charger input on this you could just charge this instead of having to buy batteries for it which was great however the huge disadvantage of this was that you'd have to wait to charge this up before you could actually use it because they placed it in such a great strategic place didn't they apple well done for that apple why could you not have just put it up here <laughs> but anyway let's not go into that so anyway i had this one for my imac and this one actually works great. This one that I've just got myself now is actually for my upgraded MacBook Pro. So I thought I'll go for the black gloss because I got it at a slight discount. So it was pretty much the same price as this white one here. And this is exactly the same as this charging unit that I've got here. So let's just do a quick little unboxy boxy of this one. Usually these are packaged quite nice. And I really like this black color on the actual mouse. Let's see if I can find me scissors okay so magic mouth let's get into this box there we go get that seal off there super duper now again that <laughs> that kind of port where you have to charge these up it would have been nice if they had changed that on this black one especially because it's upgraded from the other one in terms of the model but you know what apple are like they're not going to do that they're just going to stick to what they want to do so let's do a nice little box drop so and see if it's actually coming off and give it a little bit of a nudge and there you go whoa look at that Look at that gorgeous black over there, beautiful that. So you can see all my light reflections in there, but wow, that just looks absolutely amazing. I mean, after using the white one for so many years, just having a black mouse in that kind of same format and shape, it's just wow. I mean, I know you're thinking, what's it getting excited for? It's just a mouse with a black colored gloss on the glass, but uh, it really looks gorgeous, that. I mean, that looks really nice. So if you just flip these over, I'll just make sure I get a better zoomy zoom so you can see on this, I'll get a bit of a better angle, that's better, so if you just flip this over, I'm expecting exactly the same of what I had before, so there we go, and what does it say on this sticker down here, it says Apple, well, why did they put a sticker here, I don't know why they put a sticker over here, have they tried covering something up? No, no, it's just a normal sticker. So there you go. Everything bog standard, exactly the same. The switch is there, the switch is there. That wonderful charging port is in that brilliant position right over there. So this is ready to use after we charge it. And the feel of it is great, just like the old one. And it's just in that gorgeous black color. It looks fantastic. Now, Apple mice uh, work really well, especially when you're doing design work. However, I have recently got myself the Logitech MX uh, 
um, what's it called, Master 3. So it's the MX3 in, with Logitech, purely because I wanted to try something a little bit different. And to be honest with you, initially I wasn't going to, I was a bit skeptical with this because especially with the shape of it, I thought, you know, I've been using this mouse for like, well, this one particularly. I've been using this one for so many years. I'm just so used to the movement of it with my Apple devices and my hardware. Will this one actually be any good, better or worse? So I've had this probably about maybe a couple of months now and to be totally honest with you, I'm going to have to do a separate review on this when I do a comparison. I'd say it's okay. If I had the choice to have the Apple mouse or the Logitech and I could only have one, I still at this point would still go for the Apple mouse purely because of the way the kind of like navigation of that surface works. It works, it just works right. However, I'm not saying this isn't good. I need to spend a little bit more time on this and maybe spend a couple of weeks just using this and then I could probably have more of an informed decision. So do watch out for that review when I do a full in-depth review of which mouse is great for graphic design. I'm a graphic designer as you know so for me my kind of user experience is always going to be determined about what's good for graphic design especially when we're looking at publishing using InDesign, Illustrator, Photoshop on more predominantly Apple devices. So that was a quick little unboxing and a quick little discussion of mice so let's move on now to actually using it and once I've used it for a couple of weeks then I'll do a nice little review of both of these as a comparison so thank you so much for your time thanks for watching give the video a thumbs up let me know if you've also got this black apple mouse and what you think of it or even if you've got the logitech to start up a discussion and I'll see you on the next one so take care of yourself and peace